Hello, this is Andy Ford with Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to take a look at a very underutilized yet valuable effect called CC Composite. So here we have a logo. We can add some effects to this logo and use the power of CC Composite to achieve different compositing results while staying within the same layer. Let's keep the effect simple for the purposes of the tutorial. So first we can just add a simple fill. Effect Generate Fill. Choose a color. And now we can add a mask to our logo. So let's just diagonally bisect through the logo. And now we can add our CC Composite effect, which is found under Effect Channel CC Composite. Now if we uncheck RGB only, we can see what's happening beyond the mask. And in the Composite Original area, this menu selects which composite method to use between the effects that we've applied and the source layer. You'll see that most of the standard transfer modes are available. In this instance, we'll use Add. Now we can add another effect. Let's try Glow. Effect Stylize Glow. You can see if I drag Glow in front of the composite effect, that will get a different result by default as to leaving it below. But if you add it below, you can apply yet another CC composite effect, and now you can get yet another result. So as you can see, this effect basically duplicates the original logo and composites it so you remain in one layer. Taking this forward to show you some things you can do, we can make another mask. You can set the mask to subtract, have it run across your logo, and in effect, create your own light sweep. But again, as you can see in just a minute here, we have done some powerful things by using CC Composite. So have fun checking it out. Thank you.